It's early 2014, and I've been invited to the Glasgow School of Art to see how the GSA students in design and architecture are progressing with their project on reimagining the Castle Tower estate. The students were keen to show how their concepts and designs had progressed so far and talked us through some of the ideas they had for the Castle Tower estate. The students showed how they had really grasped the idea of reinvigorating and reimagining the Castle Tower estate, though some of the ideas were designed more with fun in mind than practicality. Anyone fancy a relaxing afternoon in one of the pods on our Chinese lake? One of the students named Gordon had put a lot of thought into the issue of travelling to and from Castle Tower by water. He had worked out the relatively short distance between Rossi and the Castle Tower estate and had worked out an ingenious plan for getting between those two points using just pedal right. power. <laughs> uh, the idea is that instead of cyclists is wanting to go from point A to point B, point B across water, um, they don't actually need to sit in a ferry and stand there for 20 minutes and then go back. They can actually continue that journey. So by creating the concepts at the top here, we have an inflatable ball, which the bike, you can take your bike on, lock into place. As you cycle, the ball starts to turn and you can start to go across water. Idea. Now to stop the bike going all over the place and the ball spinning in any direction, you create um, a Catman idea of two, or a twin hull, basically, that, that connects the ball together. And obviously the axis needs to run through the centre of the ball, but your cyclist is here, so rather than him bashing his knees off the axis, you take inspiration of a Formula One axis, which basically connects like that, so um, the, the axis is actually probably connected below, under the subframe of the bike, and you're not impeded by when you cycle, and that would be an elevation. I was really keen to find out how this idea worked in a bit more detail. This is actually a bike inside the ball. Uh -huh. That's exactly it. So it's a unique way of travelling uh, and it's not been done. And you would, you would pedal uh, across the water? You could pedal across the water, yes, in the similar idea that you can run in these across the water. Like this? Yes, exactly. Has anyone else, as far as you know, come up with this idea? No. Not so much out of the box thinking as out of the ball thinking from the students at the GSA. We then asked tutor Irene Bell what she thought of some of the students' designs so far. Hey, well, I'm not disappointed. I think they've come up with some really interesting stuff, actually. And I think a lot of it is quite into the future. It's quite forward thinking. Um, how we develop that in the short term will also be quite interesting as uh, we start from quite simple projects and begin to develop them into something um, even greater. Um, so I'm actually quite excited. Are you surprised by how much imagination they've shown in this project? No, I'm never surprised by students' imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Did the students find it difficult reinterpreting or finding a use for such an old estate, considering you know one of the buildings there dates back to the 1820s? Did they have trouble trying to interpret that for modern day use, the estate? I think they handled that quite successfully. Um, there was some really strong uh, you know, contemporary design working with the, the old castle, particularly the ruined castle, imaginative ways that the community could, could kind of bring some, some new use and new energy uh, into the existing estate. Um, I was surprised to see the variety of proposed uses for the existing spaces. For example, the walled garden had been reinterpreted as a, um, a community cafe. Um, also a lunch club was a specific kind of use to, to bring uh, older members of the community together. Um, there were ideas around extreme tourism, um, playing on the, the isolation of Tarot and its uh, degree of remoteness, um, the kind of wild uh, climate with the, with the beach uh, and also the kind of the wild uh, grown parts of the estate uh, were seen as an asset. Um, a couple of the students had looked at the ancient uh, Chateau monuments, the towered castle, the, the old ruin, um, and looked at contemporary ways that could be reused by the community. Uh, for example, one student proposed a market, a community market, to sell food and other produce within, within, within the walls themselves. Uh, and another had uh, proposed uh, putting a new timber structure 
uh, within the ruins itself, uh, more that people could sit and have a coffee or uh, some refreshment within within the ruin. And one of the students, uh, he came up with the idea of a 3D holographic um, reenactment facility within the ruins of the castle, so you could actually see what it used to look like or bring some of the, the sort of historic life of the castle back to, to visitors.